here is uh, Elizabeth Warren, and she. This is an instance where, not unlike uh, Kamala Harris, although Kamala Harris didn't do it publicly, it sort of kind of came out the back door. Where there's there's some wiggle room on this Medicare for all. Thank you. Is there room for private health insurance in your vision of the ideal American health care system? So let's start with the battle we're having right now and talk about the things we need to be doing, because I don't want to lose sight of this. Okay. It's, it's good to talk about our overall goal, and here's our overall goal. This is what distinguishes Democrats from Republicans. Democrats believe health care is a basic human right, and we fight for basic human rights. Our obligation is to make sure that everybody gets coverage at the lowest possible cost to all of us. So what does that mean? Right now, it means fighting the Republicans who are trying to sabotage the Affordable Care Act. Right now, your vision for Medicare for all, would it include, would it all be a public option or would it include a private insurance? So right now, we've got multiple There are multiple bills on the floor in the United States Senate. I've signed on to Medicare for All. I've signed on to another one that gives an option for buying into Medicaid. There are different ways we can get there, but the key has to be always keep the center of the bullseye in mind, and that is affordable health care for every American. Yeah. Not a good answer. um, Again, Mealy, and it's unclear to me, like, why Why is there already this negotiation uh, against it, the it's only... It's the same pathology, though. It, it, well, this is an interview the, you could give a year into her presidency when it's like it's been backdoored, people are on the streets, and this is actually what's getting hashed out, and we didn't get there 100% yet. But well, we achieved this, this, and this. Like, why you would say that like, in, it, it, before people even started voting is bizarre. The only thing I can imagine is, is it's got to be either uh, they're worried about fundraising or they're getting pushed back from big donors who are saying, don't be so, don't be so uh, married to Medicare for all. But it seems to me that you could also even phrase that, even if you had to do this for your big donors, right? And anybody running for president on some level has to do this, it seems. Uh, I at least those who have declared at this point. I don't know uh, that well, it'll be interesting to see if Bernie is um, uh, has this type of wiggle room. I suspect he won't. No. I suspect he won't. We'll no. see. We'll I see. I don't think Warren does where, either. Here's the point. Well, but what, what, to the extent that she did, she expressed it, and there's no reason why it seems to me that Warren couldn't say, look, <laughs> I want Medicare for all. There are a lot of powerful forces out there that, that don't want it or that it scares them. And th- it is going to be a uh, condition upon the American public if we get there. But I, I you know, it, it, it just this negotiation beforehand by saying, like, it doesn't matter between a Medicaid buy in and Medicare for all. I'm sorry. Those are very, very different programs. And those are very different uh, w- ways of structuring it. And She's also undermining. I mean, I think like those of us who've been treating her, you know, fairly and with proper respect. Uh, frankly, who, you know, prefer Bernie if he jumps in. But we've been making like like Bosca and I have been giving her a lot of credit for her policy proposals. And Politico on the other end with that report on Wall Street executives did the inverse where the bad guys have told you who's unacceptable to them. And she's on the list. Right. So she should just be milking all of the political mileage of being on the bad guy list. Well, here's here's where the difference in where the two people are coming from comes into play. Right. Because I think somebody asked us last week, like or maybe it was you, Sam, like what is the substantive difference between uh, someone who fund a left liberal who fundamentally believes in regulated capitalism and uh, some kind of democratic socialist like Bernie identifies as. That was not the question. The question was, what is the difference in their policy proposal? Okay. well, here's a practical difference. And it also goes back to what Virgil was saying on Friday about how we need to suit up for war. Um, If you put a market based solution on the same level as a systemic solution, like, I don't know, standing up to a large sector of capital, um, like even if the plan you start with if, even if a plan the left liberal starts with is like very good and seems to get you there, if you give an inch to the to the idea that the private insurance industry 
should or could exist in any kind of helpful way, like you've already lost. And, and that, that opens you up completely to rolling it back to means testing. Like you give these people an inch, they'll take a mile. Well, yeah, but she, she wasn't she wasn't advocating a market base. She was saying either buy into Medicaid or Medicare for all. I mean, neither one of those is market, right? Is neither one of those market based. One is uh, there are two different government programs. Um, and buying into Medicaid, the, the disadvantage, I mean, I guess the disadvantages of buying into Medicaid is that we've heard uh, that states have too much control over Medicaid uh, as opposed to Medicare, which is, um, which is, is run you know, uh, by the federal government and is now maybe theoretically in the buy into Medicaid. It's not uh, under the same restrictions that it would be on the states. But she's not advocating a market one. I just think that, like, it, you know, from a political standpoint, now maybe she, maybe she does. She seemed like she was leaving the door open. Maybe I misinterpreted what she. Well, was she saying. just said buy into Medicaid. She mentioned two programs: buy into Medicaid and Medicare for well, all. Even when you are asking people to pay for it, that's a compromised position that nobody should be taking at this stage in the fight. The the uh, I I mean that may be the case, but she's not she's not doing what you said she was in terms of like promoting a market based solution. Now she may be uh, d she may and may not that may be an incomplete uh, clip, but in the context of that clip, um, and I think there is I, I I agree with you. I think the idea of 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 taxing and then having you know that uh, that relationship to the government is better than to buy into to Medicaid. But neither one of those is a uh, is is a market based uh, thing. One, they're just maybe I need to read the. She should run off I guess the I political include... capital that she has from that article. I really believe. Like, I, agree. I think I did just to really simplify that. Particularly quote, this early in the primary. San yeah, Sanders and Warren are unacceptable. It should be bold and in an ad with like a yellow, uh, you know, marker around it. And I think, you know, to be fair to her, what's funny about her is I think like it, she's both obviously genuinely willing to challenge those interests because she has her whole career and she should get the credit for that. But then I think this is where her instinct to quote unquote, get stuff done is not compatible with being a good campaign. All right. I guess oh,